Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today we got another dope video for you guys. So today what we're going to be doing is showing you guys how to play Showdown. Now you guys know, you guys have been watching my channel for long enough to know that I am the best solo Showdown player in the world. Not, but what we have for you guys today is a pretty good video. Now I have been actually picking it up on the solo modes, Takedown and Lone Star primarily. I've been practicing a lot because it is in the power play rotation and you know I do have to be getting those power play points and trying to per perfect my skills as well in the solos as I do for 3v3. So what we're going to be doing today is going to Feast or Famine. Now, a lot of you guys might know this, but the best way to push your brawlers in Showdown or just cups in general in Showdown is with 8-bit extra life. So we got Feast or Famine over here, which is obviously the most well-known Showdown map, maybe even map in Brawl Stars, and it's very tank-oriented. You can go to the middle, you can do a bunch of different things, but we're going to show you guys how to properly play with 8-bit on any map with 8-bit, if you properly play it, you should be able to win or at least get like a top three. So with that being said, let's hop into it and let's see what we can do. Okay, so here we go, going, getting into the first game here. And with 8-bit, you obviously do want to go to the outside. You don't really want to go for the middle. Now there is a Jesse over here. This Jesse is AFK, so that's always a great start, I suppose. Gonna put this turret down right over here just to body block us from the Shelly. Don't want to let the Shelly hit us at all. So we're gonna have three boxes to start off so that's an insanely overpowered start well not three boxes my bad three power-ups to start off that's a really 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 good start so we can just kind of chill over here we don't want to go into the middle a hundred percent because that's where the big scary shellies are in tanks although we do know where they are so it might not be a terrible idea but see there's a shelly with super so you don't want to go near it we could charge our super off of this BB over here. We're doing a good job. And we're back. Okay, so I don't know what happened. Our game crashed when there were four ballers not left. And now we are in a showdown. So we're just going to put this over here. Kind of chill in the middle. Very confused on what's happening right now. But I mean, we did start off well. I don't think we've died yet. Okay, there's the last brawler. It's going to be a dynamite. So this is very interesting, actually. Let's try and go to the top over here and see if we can get a free shot, actually. Yeah, that's a good strat. So we're going to get a free shot over here on the Dyna. And there we go. We're going to get a first place. So even though we only had one kill, our game crashed. We got Wi-Fi bars. And, you know, just everything happened. We still managed to get a first place. Now, AP, AP is just so good. We didn't even have to use our extra life. And that was honestly really OP. So I'll just hit that play again button. Hop into the next game and let's see what happens. Okay, so here we go. Same thing, we're gonna be on the outside. We're gonna be going for the outside boxes. Hopefully that bowl leaves us alone, which he will. We're gonna get these two right over here. And we can make our way down this left side over here because we can see that there's another box. You do wanna to stay towards the outside though because there are people that are way faster than you or brawlers, I should say, that are way faster than you and they can cut you off pretty easily. So we got four to start off. That's a really, really good start. Now it's about charging our super. That would be the next goal. Rico over here, we're going to be able to take him out. You can re be really, really patient and kind of just do your own thing with 8-bit. Okay, how did we not pick that up? That was my bad for being really sloppy. We're just going to put this down right over here. Not going to let this Primo get near us, obviously. That would obviously be a big mistake. Try not to let the Primo regen. He is going to be able to. Rosa and Primo are going to have this epic battle. It's obviously best, sorry for that notification, that we stay away. Just going to kind of mine our own business over here. Let's put this down over here and kind of just claim this territory as ours. That might not be that great for that bowl. So we're chilling. I don't think anyone can really contest us right now. Going to get that snipe in. Not going to be able to get anyone. But we're just trying to get our turret back. Nobody can come near us. Okay, so we're just going to be really passive with this. No point in us like going all out for it. Just let someone else do it. Got this bowl really low. Again, still mining our own business. We do want to wait more towards the end before we go in. So a top four will guarantee us cups. But we do want to get a top three every single game. So we're chilling over here. We're still holding our ground. We can see there's people towards the top. Going to throw this down over here. We don't know exactly where people are, which is definitely a scary thought. Alright, we know that they're all towards the top. So now we can make our way there. There's only a bull left. This bull is AFK. Two others kill themselves. And this is not looking very good for that bull. We're going to get another one finished. And again, didn't even have to use our extra life. Just outweighted them all. You know, we were really, really patient with it. That's obviously what you want. So again, we're doing really good. Back-to-back -back wins. Hop into the main menus. Let's put our phone on Do Not Disturb. And let's hop into the next game. 
Okay, so here we go into the next game. Again, exact same strategy. We're going to be going for these two boxes right over here. There's going to be a Daryl to our bottom uh, right and then a Carl above us. We don't really have a preferred matchup there, so I guess we're just going to make our way towards Daryl since we outrange it. Even though Daryl is a very strong brawler in the current meta. With 8-bit, you can more or less take anybody out. We're going to move up over here and kind of just claim this grass as ours. So it's definitely going to be a really strong bull this game. Okay, so the Carl wants the smoke. Just trying to tag this guy over here. Gonna run away. It's fine if this Carl gets this, doesn't really matter. He's probably just gonna run into somebody to be honest. Yep, that Daryl was gonna go for him. Carl did get a really good hit on him though. Oh wow, we're almost down already. Just gonna place this right over here and take our time. It's gonna scare people from coming to us. So again, we're just chilling, minding our own business. This Carl still does want the smoke. And we do need to charge our super, so we should kind of head towards this Carl. But a Carl against 8-bit is a really good matchup for him. So this isn't looking too, too good for us. We're going to try and just kind of escape, I guess. Make our way out. Going to move to this bush over here. Four brawlers left. Again, we haven't used our extra life yet, so we are looking pretty good. Three brawlers left. It's that, probably that strong bull, the Carl and us. So this Carl's going to take us out. We are going to have extra life, though. Carl is going to zoom away and we're just going to be chilling. So we do know that that bull is somewhere in this middle bush. Hopefully the bull goes for that Carl. There we go. There is that bull. You get some shots off on the Carl over here. Try and take him out and there we go. We're able to take out the Carl. Second place, we knew that was coming. We knew we weren't going to win that game, but that's fine. That's a plus eight trophy. So we're up 28 trophies right now in three games. It's gone fairly fast. So again, Let's hop into the next game and let's see if we can get some more insane speed amount of trophy gains. I mean, this is pretty good, to be honest. It's definitely way better than 3v3s if you can just rock out solo consistently. Looks like this bow is AFK. So let's take advantage. For some reason, there's always so many AFK players in solo modes. I really don't understand it. But anyways, we're going to take advantage. We're going to be getting these boxes over here. I don't think this Daryl wants to mess with us, to be honest. We are very, very strong. So Daryl's going to go for the boxes over here that we were going to end up getting. Let's just put this right over here. Say no to this Daryl getting these. These are ours. You're not getting those at all. So we got five. Seven brawlers left and already we're in a really good position. So let's just check these bushes around us. Make sure that there's nobody there. So we got five. Again, we're going to be camping on the outside. You don't want to go to the middle even though we are very, very strong right now. Still no point of going to the middle. There's just a lot going on in there. We're going to take a little bit of a detour here because there was boxes in the open for taking gonna be able to hit that snipe and here we go this is like an exception for us being in the middle just because we're so strong right now we can just kind of walk around and pinch everybody so there's three brawlers left if you stand right here you can see exactly where everybody is you don't have to do any guessing um and this is definitely the strat so i'm just gonna stand here literally just watch the screen and nobody is gonna enter without us knowing we're just going to stay in the bushes though because we want to know where everyone is. We don't want to get caught off guard. No reason to over push this early. Shelly's going to lose her power up. We're going to be able to get that kill. And there we go. Oh, the Primo's down there. I thought it was way higher up. Never mind. Okay, let's throw this over here to scare the Primo. Primo's somewhere in here. We can take our time. No rush. We know we're going to win this game. If anything, we also have our extra life, so we're fine. So we're just going to get that last shot gonna be a dub and there we go that's three wins in four games and the other game we came second so things are looking really really good we're gonna do two more games so let's hop into this fifth game and let's see again if we can get those dubs okay so here we go into the next game we're gonna be beside a bb and a shelly afk shelly nope almost got lucky again shelly might want the smoke with us this is a pretty interesting position here actually so i don't know exactly what we're gonna do We are able to hit this shot. There's just so much going on over here. I don't know why. So we're going to be able to pick up one kill. I'm just going to place this right over here so that we're strong. Try and get some shots off now. Going to be able to get my super right back too, which is great. Just going to let that bull get that and kind of back off. Bull is not going to be able to get close to us. 
We have this extra life and we have this power up. There's nothing that this bull can do. He's going to get right back into his space right over there. And we're just going to keep going. Um, This is pretty interesting over here. I don't. Why is there so many power ups over here? I don't really like this position. I think we're just going to head out. Mm, actually, uh, this is looking pretty rough on us, honestly. This is not looking great. We're able to get some really good shots off over there. This bull might be trapped. Is the bull in here? I can't tell. I don't think the bull's in here. Okay, it's definitely not. Oh, that's a very strong BB. Okay, so we definitely want to stay away from that BB. Because that BB will kill us 100%. Five brawlers left. So we're still going to gain trophies no matter what. Let's see if I can get some shots off. Trying to get my super back. Four brawlers left in this game. So gaining trophies. Doing pretty well. But again, we want that win, if not a top two. Here's the bull that we were dealing with earlier. Oh, this is not good. We Oh my god, that hurt. A lot. We're probably dead here. We're very much more than likely dead. Okay, that BB's going to be able to pick up a kill over there on the Carl. We're going to get some shots off. We're only going to get one shot. And no, we're not we're not winning this game. It's very unfortunate, but it is not gonna happen. We're gonna get that second place. That baby deserved the win. It had 13 power-ups. But anyways, GG over there. What are we up now? We're up I think 46 trophies. So we're gonna do one more game here. Let's see how we do. Let's hop into it. But things have been looking really good. Honestly, the solo grinds are becoming more and more OP as we figure out exactly how to do them properly. Gonna get these boxes over here. I'm gonna move straight down because I only got one box. It is a Leon. So you have to be very, very careful. So he's just gonna auto aim the box. We don't wanna go too, too close to him. We're gonna be able to keep him hit, keep him a little bit far, but we're not gonna gain any kill or anything on him. I think what we're gonna do is just kinda take this bush over here. Claim this bush is ours. We can get some shots off towards the middle. Oh, we're getting some good shots over there. We're able to kill that Leon. There we go. So this is our bush from now on. We're going to just chill here until we're like top four, top five. We're going to get something along those lines. And then we're going to be able to move forward and continue gaining trophies. But the plan for the game is just to kind of chill here. You guys know, just let people kill each other. We have the extra life saved up. We have all of that. And we're going to be able to move towards the middle once this smoke comes in over here. But anyways, we're chilling. Also, this is very useful that you use your uh, turret sort of as a body block when you enter the grass. Because you can, you can have it soak a shot or two. And that could definitely be the difference between surviving and staying alive. Now, I'm not spinning the team, by the way. I'm kind of just spinning because I'm standing still, not doing anything. But this annoying Carl is probably going to try and get the best of us. And he might be able to, especially with a pinch coming. We're going to move up over here. We're going to be able to get this. And this Carl should have been pinched right now. I don't know why it hasn't been already. Let's throw this down kind of as a body block. We knew that bull was over there. We're going to get that easy kill. Oh, we might go down here. Oh, we're going to go down. But we're able to pick up these three straight away. Three brawlers left. We're pretty close to our... Okay, there we go. Oh, he's going to get taken down. That looks like a very mean Daryl. Oh, we're going to lose... <sighs> Wow, okay, that was close, but we got second place, so that is plus, I believe, 54 out of the possible 60 trophies. Let's do the math. Let's check it out right over here. So we're plus 8, 16, um, 26, 34, uh, 44, and plus 54 in 12 minutes and 45 seconds. You guys know the math. It's almost like 250, maybe around, maybe might be over 250 an hour. But anyways, that is just absolutely insane it's like 250 to 300 cups an hour just doing this with 8-bit super super easy and you guys can do this on every single map so just apply the strategies that i showed you guys here it's pretty easy we're working on the solo modes as a team whatever i learned i'm going to share with you guys thank you guys so much for watching that is going to be it for today and i will catch you guys again tomorrow peace